Skin to Skin Holding for Parents by Creative Therapy Consultants. Congratulations on the birth of your baby or babies. We know that even though your baby is in intensive care or special care nursery, one of your first questions may be, when can I hold my baby? This video will show you a special way to hold your son or daughter that both of you will love. It's called skin to skin holding because it involves your diapered baby being on your bare chest, skin to skin or heart to heart as we like to call it, so you can fall in love with your baby all over again. It's a great way for your baby to get to know you through your touch, scent, heartbeat and voice and you'll love the time getting to feel your baby move, breathe and fall into a deep slumber on your chest. Holding your baby skin to skin is not only a great way to get to know each other, but also has a lot of benefits that are found in the medical literature. For example, in Bogota, Colombia, where skin to skin, which is also known as kangaroo care, started in 1978, it increased a baby's chance of survival. Since that time, it's been found to improve weight gain, help babies fight off infection, increase brain maturation, which can lead to better developmental outcomes, improve sleep, help your breast milk production, help you bond with your baby, and help you as a parent feel more comfortable taking care of your baby. You'll find that holding your baby skin to skin is very natural. And in fact, other animals like to do skin to skin as well. Like these animals, or this might really be called fur to fur. Skin to skin is also known as kangaroo care because a mother kangaroo carries her baby in her pouch for seven to ten months. By seven to ten months, your baby will probably be moving and crawling around on the floor at home. But for now, you can keep your baby close to you, skin to skin, heart to heart. So what can you do to get ready to hold your baby skin to skin? Well, there's a few things. First, you want to make sure that you smell clean and fresh. You'll need to have showered within the last 24 hours. And if you're a smoker, try not to smoke right before holding your baby and consider wearing a hospital gown during skin to skin so there's not a smell of smoke for your baby. Babies who are born premature or sick often do not respond well to strong smells. Your baby will want to get to know you, to know your scent. And that's why you want to make sure that you don't wear strong perfumes or lotions and that you keep the smell of smoke away from your baby. If you're back at work and the workplace has strong chemicals or smells, like some farming, auto mechanics, or factories, you may need to scrub your chest before holding your baby skin to skin so that you don't expose your baby to those chemicals from your job. As always, a good hand washing is key to helping your baby stay free of infection. You'll also want to make sure that you're free from infection as well. If you have a cold, fever, or have been exposed to the flu or other contagious illnesses, talk to the NICU staff before spending time with your baby. Always be honest with your baby's nurse so that together you can make the best decision for your baby's safety and wellness. When doing skin to skin, you'll want to either wear a hospital gown opened in front or wear a clean shirt that opens in the front. If you're a mom, you'll need to make sure that you remove your bra before placing your baby skin to skin. This is really important because your baby needs complete skin contact with you at the breast tissue so that your body can regulate your temperature in order to keep your baby warm. Your body's temperature will rise keeping your baby warm or it will lower if your baby becomes too hot. Your body works like a human incubator, but with a lot more comfort and advantages to your baby. If you're the dad, you'll need to make sure your chest is bare too, and be ready for your baby to hold on to your chest hair, and maybe even pull it a little. Other preparations include going to the bathroom ahead of time, because you'll be sitting there for a long time, as long as the NICU staff recommends. If you're providing breast milk, and we certainly hope you are, then you'll want to make sure that you pump before doing skin to skin so that you don't become uncomfortable and leak excessively while holding your baby. If you're able to have water in the nursery, 
A large glass of water with a lid on it is a great thing to have close. Plan on being there for a long time. And check with your nursery staff if there is anything they may want you to do before holding your baby skin to skin. Setting the right time up for skin to skin holding is important as well. So talk to your baby's nurse first to find the best time for you, your baby, and the nursery staff. As you've probably already learned, it's important to schedule your baby's care around his feedings and sleep pattern. Skin to skin can help with digestion and help your baby get into a good sleep for better growth and healing. So you want to schedule your skin to skin holding right before and during feeding times. Since we want you to hold your baby for quite a while, plan on doing skin to skin at a time of the day that you're able to stay for a long period of time. Of course, there's going to be times when you might not be able to do skin to skin because either you or the staff or your baby are not able. When that happens, just reschedule it for another time. Getting your baby ready for skin to skin is important as well and the NICU staff will help with this. Ask the staff about what you can do to help your baby in taking a temperature, changing the diaper, or taking their clothes off so that you can have complete skin to skin contact. If you're not comfortable with helping with these caregiving activities yet, it's okay. Just keep asking your baby's nurse to help you with them so that you can be more comfortable and start doing these parenting activities yourself. The staff will oftentimes listen to your baby's heart rate and count breathing and perform other assessments before your baby can do skin to skin. Keep in mind that babies in the nursery, just like you, have good days and bad days. If your baby's having more medical issues or the staff feels that they want to keep a close eye on them, they may suggest you postpone skin to skin at that time. Don't be discouraged. This is common for premature or sick term infants. Just talk to your baby's nurse regularly about what is happening and what might be a good time to do skin to skin next. Transferring your baby from the isolate or bed to your chest for skin to skin holding can require the help of several NICU staff, including nurses, respiratory therapists, or others. If your baby has a lot of medical needs, it really requires a lot of teamwork from the NICU staff to make the transition stress-free for your baby. Depending on what is going on in the nursery at the time, you may have to wait to do skin to skin until the right staff are available to make a safe and non-stressful transfer for your baby. So try to be patient, knowing that everyone is working hard to make sure your baby has the best possible care. Transferring your baby to your chest may depend on the size and condition of your son or daughter. There might be different ways the staff will suggest for moving your son or daughter from the bed to your chest for a skin to skin holding. When doing a standing transfer, you will want to bend down towards your baby and when your chest is almost touching, open the blanket and put your chest to your baby's chest or heart to heart. Put your hands under the blanket around your baby and slowly bring your baby with you as you stand back up. Once you've stood up straight, make sure you are not dizzy and then let the staff know when you are ready to sit down. The chair will be placed right behind your legs if possible so you don't have to walk with your baby. That will make it safer for you and your baby. If you've just had a C-section or are still not feeling well from the birth of your baby, this may not be a safe way to transfer your baby and a sitting transfer might be recommended by the staff. When doing a sitting transfer, you'll simply sit in the chair with your gown on and the nursery staff will transfer your son or daughter out of the bed and onto your chest. You'll open your gown or shirt as soon as they put the baby on your chest with the blankets and possibly a skin to skin wrap. Don't worry, the staff will worry about and fix the wires and tubes to assure both you and your baby are comfortable. Another important tip about the transfer in your baby's skin to skin is that when doing the standing transfer, you want to be careful so that your baby is not having stress signs. Notice how this baby has his arms outstretched. You want to keep your baby up next to you the whole time with your hands firmly supporting your baby to your chest. This will help your baby be comfortable during the transfer and not have any stress. 
Other important skin-to-skin -skin tips include that when you hold your son or daughter skin-to-skin, -skin, you want to make sure that he or she stays warm, comfortable, and safe. This is true of the transfer as well, so a lot of care and attention is given to the transfer. To keep your baby warm, he or she might be transferred using folded, warmed blankets. A hat may be used to keep your baby from losing heat out of his or her head. And to keep your baby comfortable, you'll want to make sure that your baby is completely contained or snuggled during the transfer and when at your chest. Your baby was used to being very bent or snuggled with his arms and legs toward the center of his or her body when in the womb. That's how he'll be the happiest on your chest as well. So when holding your baby, make sure his arms and legs are not sprawled out, but are instead bent up close to his body. If your baby seems irritable during skin to skin, ask your baby's nurse to help you change your baby's position to make sure he or she is comfortable. The NICU staff will pay special attention to make sure wires, tubes, and IVs and respiratory support is positioned and supported for your baby. They'll support your baby's head just slightly back to make sure that they are able to breathe easily. And they'll continue to be able to monitor your baby while you're doing skin to skin. So you'll be able to just lay back and relax. You may want to bring a handheld mirror into the nursery to see your baby's face during skin to skin. Your nurse may take your baby's temperature frequently to ensure your baby is staying warm. Or she might ask you to do this as well. Because one of the goals of skin to skin holding is to help your baby get into a good deep sleep, avoid a lot of talking, rocking, moving, or stroking during skin to skin. A skin to skin wrap may be used to help keep your baby secure and close during skin to skin. Skin to skin is an enjoyable way of holding your son or daughter that has many benefits. Try skin to skin today. You'll be glad you did.